welcome to this session of product design and value engineering in today's session we will talk about product life cycle what is product life cycle and what are different phases of this product life cycle first of all let us understand what is product so what is product and why product is needed product is something that satisfies customers needs or want anything that satisfy customer needs or their demand is known as product now uh, product should be customer centric that means that product should focus on satisfying customers needs only the product can be small or big it can be as small as a needle or it can be as big as an airplane both are product and both are used for different needs and product should not be only tangible it need not be need not to be only tangible it can be intangible only what do you mean by tangible and intangible tangible is something that we can feel and we can see where intangible is something that we cannot touch or we cannot see for example mobile phone is a tangible product because we can take mobile phone in our hands and we can feel it uh, on the other end application softwares are intangible product we cannot see softwares but the uh, softwares are there and uh, they are needed they uh, satisfy our needs for some functions so product is basically anything that customer demands or customer needs and it somehow satisfies customers needs now what is product life cycle as we humans or anything for that matter have a limited life uh, and after that uh, uh, the other thing will take our place is similarly that uh, that is the case with product also so each product will have a limited life cycle and after that this pro that product will be uh, extinct from the market and new product will come in place of it for example if we talk about mobile phones then initially there were first generation mobile phones so each product will have limited life of product and there will be uh, in initially there were uh, first generations mobile phones so what were first generation mobile phone they were very bulky and very hard to move around after first generation mobile phone there came the second generation mobile phones that were later advanced than the first generation mobile phone then there came uh, something called 2.5g or 2.5 generation mobile phone that is there were uh, somewhat advanced than 2g phones but they were not ad as advanced as our 2g 3g phones and then came in the market 3g phones so after the 3g phone were introduced in the market 2g phones are almost extinguished now and then there came the 4g phones so if today we see in the market that most of the mobile phones that are available are 4g mobile phones very few 3g phones are available there in the market and after 4g phones who knows there will be something else there might be 5g phones which are on the way or that might be some new technologies all the uh, all the way but this is the case with every product there will be some limited life cycle of each product and after that the product will be extinguished from the market and the after extinction of the product there will be a new product in place of it so how this product life cycle rotates uh, during the life of product how it will react it is known as product life cycle and during each product life cycle first there will be an introduction phase after introduction phase there will be a growth phase after growth there will be a maturity phase and after maturity there will be decline we can uh, say that this is similar to our human life cycle introduction is childhood then growth is teenage years maturity is an adult and decline is an old age so this is how the product life cycle works and what will happen in this each of stages let us see there the first one is introduction phase so what will happen in introduction phase in introduction phase the first thing is product is introduced in the market after introduction of the product what will happen is that no one is initially knew about product so the product will we will have to start marketing of the product and uh, slowly people will start buying the 
product so over the time sales will increase and we have to make much effort to increase the sales so what should we do during this introduction phase of product so uh, for sales it will be low initially and cost will be high per product because we are introducing the product so we are not earning very much product uh, and very much profit so there will be high cost per uh, customers and profit will be negative because during introduction phase we are not earning any profit we are investing in marketing so profit will be negative and what should be our marketing objective our marketing objective should be to maximize the product awareness to create product awareness such that people know about our product once the introduction phase finishes there will be a growth phase and what will happen in growth phase during the growth phase the product will uh, create market awareness and people will start uh, more product people will start buying more product so ultimately we will see rapid growth in sales and as we have already introduced and we have already invested in marketing our profit also will start rising so what will happen in growth phase of sales so sales will rapidly rising then cost cost will average for per customer profit profit will also rise and our marketing objective our marketing objective should be to maximize the market share after growth phase there will be a maturity phase during maturity phase the product will stabilize in sales so people who are buying our product people who knows about our product will uh, keep on buying the product but very few new customers will come in the market because already we have maximized the uh, our customer base so during maturity phase our sales will be stabilized it will no longer be increasing but it will not be reducing drastically also and what will happen to sales profit and cost so during maturity phase the sales will be at peak so sales will be at peak they are at maximum limits the cost will be low because we are no longer need any marketing strategies and also we have optimized our production such that cost per customer will be low and profit so what will happen to profit profit will be high because uh, cost per customer is low and we are selling maximum amount of products and what should be our market objective our market objective should be to maximize our product our profit by selling maximum number of units as possible after maturity phase there will be decline phase and what will happen in decline phase in decline phase the product sales will start reducing why this sales are start reducing because there is chance that there will be new technology or new product in the market which customer are more attracted to so once the decline phase starts what we should do so during decline phase as our sales are reducing our profit will also be reducing and our focus should be to do something extra to either introduce a new product or to maximize the profit so what will happen in decline phase in decline phase the sales will be declining that is reducing the cost will be low cost per customer because in maturity phase we have all already optimized our production costs in profit what will happen to profit profit will be decreasing because our sales are declining and what should be our marketing objective so our marketing objective should be to reduce expenditure and milk the brand milk the product as much as possible so we should reduce our marketing and try to gain as much profit as possible from the current product and what should we do after decline so what should 
we do after once the decline phase start because we know that now we can no longer continue with the same product so there are mainly three option after decline phase the first and most recommended option is to develop completely new product because that is the only way to sustainable development we have to keep on developing new products such that customers will get something new and they will keep on buying our products because no one wants to buy 10 years old product they want to buy the new products which are introduced recently the other option is to shift current product in a new market uh, suppose you are producing a mobile phone which is 4G mobile phone in India but uh, in some countries in some uh, backward countries the they have not uh, launched 4G's till now so once the 5G launches in India what should you do with your current 4G models you can sell them in the market where 4G has just introduced so it will basically act as a new product for that market and the third option is to revive the existing product how can we revive existing product for that there are several strategies such as we can update some features of our product if we update some features of our product then what will happen is that people will be attracted to these new features and they will buy our products we can rebrand our product rebranding basically acts as a uh, as a medium of attraction for the people we see that many times uh, so some brands change their uh, uh, colors of products or change their packaging that is be, uh, basically rebranding of the product the third option is marketing boost once the decline phase starts uh, some companies what some companies will do is that uh, they will start excessive marketing of their product so due to this excessive marketing people will uh, tend to buy uh, their product more and the fourth strategy which is uh, often seen is price reduction once the decline phase starts many companies use this strategy to reduce price of their product and by reducing price they will attract more customers we see that in a rapidly changing markets such as in electronic markets after uh, introducing a mobile phone when a company launches their uh, newer model or updated models what they will do with all model is they will reduce their price and uh, along with reducing their price they will stop their old models production so the products which they have in inventory they will sell that uh, for reduced price and as they have reduced this price people will be uh, attracted towards it and they will tend to buy this so this will be all for this product the uh, life cycle will see in next section how to develop products and what is product development and product design